If you're putting ITBs on your Beam 3S GE swapped car, you've probably looked into something that looks sort of like this, which is a vacuum manifold or vacuum block, depending on whatever you want to call it. It's the same thing. Essentially what it is, is a chamber that you can attach each throttle body to this chamber to provide some sort of main vacuum for things like uh, your brake booster, or also like a manifold absolute pressure sensor. Now, if you're not familiar, manifold absolute pressure sensors are typically used for tuning. With ITBs, it's a little different because, you know, typically the, your ECU looks at two axes, your RPM and your man manifold absolute pressure to be able to determine, you know, things like how much fuel, um, what kind of ignition timing, and, and, you know, there's a couple of factors too. But with ITBs, because you don't actually have an intake manifold, you can't really have a reliable manifold absolute pressure sensor, except in certain conditions. And that's where having something like this comes into play, is you can have a map input to your ECU for these special circumstances to add an extra factor to the tuning to make it run better in, in different situations. This is also how you can plumb in an idle air control valve, which is something that I personally think everybody should use. It, it just makes your car run and drive that much smoother all the time. But the problem is, is how do you get one to bolt on? There's a lot of different ones that you can buy. There's a bunch of aftermarket ones. It's a, pretty, it's a pretty simple part to manufacture. So you can get it from a lot of different sources, but none of them really technically bolt on to the beams. You know, you can make an extra bracket to try to get a bolt in there. There's a couple of things under the ITBs where there's some, some bolt places where you can attach something, but I really didn't want to make another bracket. So I ordered a cheap one just so I could try and make it work. So this is what I ended up with. I ended up having to drill out one of the holes a little bit larger, and then this, I slotted it. Man, that looks makes it look, you know, it's, it's pretty thin, so I am a little worried about that bending, but I did that because it, I needed the bolt spacing in the lineup, and it just wasn't quite there between the two points. So you probably don't need to slot it this much, you can actually probably leave it connected at the end. I did that so it makes it a lot easier to like install it, so I can have the first bolt threaded in, slide that in, latch it kind of on that bolt and then insert my other bolt on. So let's go ahead and take a look and I'll show you how I'm mounted and then we'll run some vacuum lines. So under the intake manifold, you've got these bolt locations here. So here's the bolt that I've already left threaded in where I can just uh, hook this guy on. And then that lines me up for the front bolt. Just kind of finagle it back and forth a little bit until you get the bolt lined up and Thread it in. Now under each throttle body in each runner, there's a barb, and each of those is gonna run to this vacuum manifold. We've got to mount it pretty rigid now, now I just gotta run these guys to each of the spots. So I purposely left a gap between the four ports for each of the velocity stacks and then one on the end. So this goes to the manifold absolute pressure sensor and I can visually see where it's at. This also gives me a point where I can tie the harness back up into because right now the bolt hole right here, they used to occupy the bracket for the wiring harness. This way it gives me a nice slot for the zip tie to hang on to. And there we go, I've got the wiring harness secured to the vacuum block just perfectly. And that's it. That's how to install a vacuum block on your Beams 3S GE with ITBs and make it kind of a whole bolt-on affair. If you like videos like this, make sure you're subscribed to my channel, check out some other videos. I've got a bunch of videos for beam swapping stuff, 86 drifting, beam shifting, supercharged stuff, all that. Thanks for watching.